I just got done sectioning the BIPOC mural wall and I am at home taking a break. I just got some lunch. So I'm just kind of chilling, waiting to go pick up my students and then start the painting process and none of them have experience. So I'm sure they're all nervous and I'm excited to see how the first day goes. On our first day of class, we went through a round-robin style discussion for students to get familiar and comfortable with one another. And after each question, students presented their partner's answers. There were two questions whose answers stood out to me. Do you feel like your culture is represented here? The answer was a resounding no. Have you always felt confident about your cultural identity? Many of our students also said no. However, I was not surprised by these answers, having grown up as a BIPOC in Montana too. So our goal with this program hasn't been just to create a beautiful mural, but to explore these questions surrounding identity and representation. What actions could we take as individuals and a community to change these answers to a yes? Our action was to create a public art piece to provide the visual representation that on our first day of class, we said that we lacked. Through the program, as our high school students mentored our local students to create cultural motifs of their own, we were witnesses to something magical. As we watched this mentorship play out, we saw our students build confidence and eagerness to share their stories of their families, communities, and experiences. We watched our students' confidence in their cultural identity grow. But something also magical happened. We saw our students just as excited and eager to ask questions and hear about their classmates' cultures, cultures different from their own. The result of this built confidence has manifested into this beautiful, multicultural, collaborative mural between our BIPOC students.